Hi everyone. Hi mom. It's Liz here at The Paper Project. Um, so this is the flip through of the giveaway journal that I will be um, having on my channel. The details of um, the giveaway are on a previous video. I will link it below. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy the flip through. I loved making this. I love Daphne's Diary, Traveler's Notebook journals. And this is an A6 size that I made. So I'm going to show you how it fits inside my Tracy Fox. Hi Tracy, if you're watching, and I love this cover. Um, so here is how it would look inside this gorgeous cover. So let me just give you guys a quick flip through. As I said in my um, giveaway video, if um, you guys want to be entered, just keep watching the videos up until I close the giveaway and you guys will have additional entries to this giveaway and I'm also adding more goodies as I go. So Traveler's Notebook, it's an A6 size which is um, 6x4 approximately. Um, I did do an embellished paper clip for this one if you guys can see how gorgeous that is. There's some lace and some fabric and this beautiful um, paper flower. And so here's inside the cover. I love this image. And I also loved the colors going on here, so I left it as is. Um, this has some information about bullet journals, which I thought would be so cool to write something there. This is a J9 Scraps bag. Thank you, Janine, for supporting this giveaway. The details, again, are in the other video. This is one of her bags in her shop. She carries them in different sizes. And this is Artie Mae's... Um, one of the um, embellishments, sorry, the uh, journal tags from Artie Mace's kit. This is the um, a Nature Walk. Here we've got another borrower's card from J9 Scraps Shop. And I made a little pocket here with one of the magazine pages. Love the images. I did leave a lot of space to journal or, you know, add pictures. There's that as well coffee stained paper. Love these images. Love you can journal right there. More space here. And then this is a reserve book tag from J9 Scraps as well. And this is Graphics Fairy. And also tickets from J9 Scraps Shop. These can be coffee stained or stamped or whatever you want to do with those. Vintage paper. Look at these images. Love it. I also have some scrapbook paper. Really nice journaling tags. These are double sided. And then I made a, an envelope from one of the magazine pages. There's a tuck in the back. And this idea actually came from um, Stacy at uh, Love My Top One Girl. She does this a lot. More journaling space here. Hi, Stacy. So there's that there. Center. I hope I'm in frame, you guys. Made a pocket here with a journaling tag that has a little bit of staining on it. Another journaling tag there. Love that. And then here I made a little tuck. And there's more vintage paper here to journal on. Look at that. Doesn't it kind of look seamless? Like you don't even have the little tuck there. Just like that. Vintage charm. And here I did, um, this is Graphics Fairy as well, the tag. Um, there's a little pocket there. And then I also left it open in the back. And this one is a sticker from one of my... Um, my sticker books that I love using that. Here I just did a flip down and then I just did a tiny little tag in the back there. Here I just did a little belly band with some more journaling space. And then here's another pocket with more journaling space. This one's just blank on the inside. Love it. And then the other side of the glassine bag. I love the polka dots. And this is also Graphics Fairy. 
And uh, this uh, gives you a little information about what a bullet journal is for. So I kept it because I thought it was so neat to read about, you know, bullet journals and, and what you can use them for. And then the back, I did a glassine um, bag from J9 Scraps with a tag. So you could still see the back, but it's not too obvious there. And there it is, you guys. So I hope you like it. I love making these Daphne's Diary Traveler's Notebooks. They're so fun. Um, if you'd like to be entered in the giveaway, um, please leave the comments below. You also um, watch the um, other video that I've linked to it. And um, any questions, comments, let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.